Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Gaffer and Gear. Over the next couple of days I'm doing some maintenance to my reflectors, so I thought I'd show you guys what I use as reflector boards. So these are what I use as reflector boards. So what are they? Well, they're artist canvas boards. So literally for artists to paint on. So some of the advantages I have with these is they've, they've got a frame system on them. So that means I can use a Cardellini clamp and mount them directly to a C stand. Now that gives me the advantage of having the stand behind the reflector. So if you're shooting a reflective product, for example, you don't see any clamps on the reflector because they're behind. It also gives me the added advantage that I can boom arm. So that enables me to get a reflector above a product really, really easy. One other advantage of all the framing is it gives you lots of uh, places to grab them when you're hand holding. So I can hold them up high, for example. I can hold them down low. No problem at all. Now you can get these in a massive range of shapes and sizes. There are literally dozens to choose from. However, my favourites are rectangular shapes. And the reason I love rectangular shapes is I can quite easily change the orientation of the reflector depending on what we need. The other thing I like about these is they're really cost effective. So a small little piece will cost you a couple of dollars. If you want something this big, you're looking at about a hundred bucks. Now, that might seem expensive compared to say a sheet of foam core, but you've got all your rigging points. So that's something to bear in mind is uh, compared to a sheet of foam core, you've got way more options with this. The other thing too is if you go to your hardware store and buy some of this, these uh, prefabricated uh, metal strips with screw holes and a tub of screws, you can reinforce the frame so they last a very, very long time. Now this one is literally five years old. So it looks in pretty good nick for a five year old white reflector. Well, the reason that is, is when it gets dirty and I can no longer clean it, you quite literally paint them white again. Okay, so this one's probably been painted, I'm guessing about three or four times. I reckon I can get one more coat of paint on it and that's probably about it for this unit. So you can literally repaint them and you've got a, a fresh canvas and off you go again. So that's why they're really quite cost effective. The other advantage of being able to paint them is if you've got a studio space or somewhere where you can um, keep a, a library or a gallery of these, you can have these in different shades of skin tone. Uh, one photographer I used to work with, he used to do a lot of product cinematography. He had, a, um, he had a library of these in different shades of white. So he had pure white, light greys, dark greys, right through to black. And he used to use that when he was dealing with his reflective products. Anyway, I'm Andrew Locke. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to click subscribe if you're watching this on um, YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, you're watching an episode that's about a month out of date. So go to my YouTube channel. So go to YouTube, type in the search bar, Gaffer and Gear, and I should pop up. Click subscribe and you'll always be up to date. Anyway, I'm Andrew Locke. I'll catch you on the next episode and see you on set. Take care.